Hi, I'm David Council from Inferno Marketing and Design, and welcome to another Insider Marketing Secret. Now, in a moment, we're going to discuss how you can improve your social media performance. Before we do that, let me ask you, do you know someone who could use some help with their advertising and marketing? I bet you do. Why don't you share this podcast with them? Really, it's very easy. All you've got to do is either let them subscribe from our webpage, or this is the better one, get them to go to the iTunes store and subscribe there. Both options are absolutely free, but through the iTunes store, it doesn't get emailed to them, it gets uploaded to their mobile device absolutely free every time it's released. Okay, let's get into the insider marketing secret on improving your social media performance. Now, a lot of people talk to me about social media all of the time and complain about the performance that they're getting out of it. Remember, social media is just another media. It's just like a television station or a radio station or a newspaper. It's just got a lot of functionality in one place. And the most important thing about social media is that it's a database. It allows you to access the data that people have handed over about themselves. So you can target the right people the right way. Anyway, how are you going to get your social media to really start kicking it home? First of all, you've got to post consistently. You should try and post at least once a day. And if you use your insights, especially in uh, Facebook, you can go into Facebook Insights and see where your audience is. What time of the day are they usually checking their Facebook? What days of the week do they look most often? So that's really important. Go and check that out, Facebook Insights. So make sure you're getting your posts out there at the time of the day when your target audience is actually using social media. And that is point number two, research your audience. Don't just assume that you know who your audience is. Make sure that you do the digging and find out who it is that you're talking to. I was only talking to a client just the other day and just by looking at his insights on his Facebook, he realized that it was 25 to 35 year olds that were the key group he was after. Now, he also had to skew women to men. So it meant that he had to make sure that his messages also carried that same sort of skew. The third thing to do to really start getting your uh, social media to perform is make sure that you're not aggressive. Don't be using it like a hard sell television commercial. Social media is about building relationship. So you should be putting out post after post after post that gives a relationship a nurture so that when you do need to call them to action, you can call them to action. I reckon if you made about once every seven or once every 10 posts a call to action, that's acceptable. The next thing, top quality content. The market is hungry for what you know. You see, a lot of people don't understand that the things that they know about their business, everybody else doesn't know. You're an expert in your field and the things that you assume everybody else knows, chances are they don't. So share it with them. Honestly, if your competitors hear something on your social media, don't panic. After all, they know it too. You're getting on the front foot and getting the message out there before they get a chance. The next thing, make sure the images that you use with your posts are relevant. Don't just use generic stock images. Find something that's unique. Take a photo yourself. Remember, it doesn't have to be the best photo. It's got to be a relevant photo. It's got to make the person who sees it look at it and go, oh, that's interesting. What's that? And above and beyond everything else, if you can do it, use video. If you can't do it, talk to somebody who can help you use video. Honestly, it will turn your social media around. The next thing is make sure that you connect with influencers, people who carry authority inside of your industry. So for example, if you're a restaurant, try and hook up with other people who are influential in your industry. They use social media too. Look at the guys off MasterChef. Maybe you should be messaging them or, or tagging them into posts that you're putting out there. After all, if George uh, comments on something that you've posted, it carries a lot of weight and the people that are following you will see it and really start to lap it up. And it'll also introduce you to the people that George knows. Really important. So find those influences. And the final thing that I think you should do is make sure that you use Google Analytics. No, 
I hear, I hear people saying, but surely Dave, Google Analytics is just for my website. No, no, you can use it to track your social media metrics as well. If you don't know how to do it, once again, talk to somebody who can help you because it's it's fairly straightforward to set up, get it set up the right way, and all of a sudden, the world will open for you. You'll start to see where all of these people are and how you can best get the right messages in front of the right people. So there you go. That's the insider marketing secret on getting your social media to perform. A few really easy steps that you can be taking. Now, if you need help with your social media or with your advertising and marketing in general, then please feel free, give me a call. I'd love to have a chat with you about it. Or send me an email, I'll give you a call. There you go, doesn't get much easier than that. Until next time, with some more insider marketing secrets, I'm David Council from Inferno Marketing and Design, and I look forward to talking to you about your advertising and marketing in the very near future.